Hey guys, you're watching the tutorial on the VI editor. After watching this tutorial series, you would be able to use the VI editor comfortably for all your programming needs. Please do watch the previous video if you have not. You can find the link in the video description. So let's get started. So the next one is what I said before. Set number would enable the line number. So you get all the line numbers by uh, this command set number. Uh, this is for file type plugin indent on. Uh, especially when you are coding in Python, uh, you don't have any uh, uh, braces. You don't use any curly braces in Python. So a module is identified just by uh, the indentation. So let's say here in the line 37, uh, this is the beginning of the module and uh, this is the end of the module, end of the function. So uh, this is forward by one indent block. So that's how Python works. Okay, forget about Python. So uh, in order to indent a, a line of text, you just press the shift and the greater than symbol. So right now I'm in the line 33. I want to indent the line 33 by one block. So I can do it by pressing the shift and the greater than key. So yeah. So what I did was I pressed the shift and the greater than key and I also pressed the uh, lower, I mean the down arrow key once. So you can get this done by uh, pressing the shift and the greater than key and by pressing any of the arrow keys. So I hope uh, this is clear to you. So in order to uh, make this uh, return to its previous position, you enter the lesser than arrow key and I'm sorry, lesser than and shift key and any of the arrow keys. So I hope this is clear to you. That is uh, right indent and returning it back and you can you can also do it for uh, selection of lines so let's select the line uh, 50 so you can you can have uh, the entire line selected by typing shift and v together so i forgot to tell this before uh, i told you about the v key for the visual mode so you can select an entire line of text by typing the shift v key and you can select the next entire line by typing the lower arrow once and you can go on and now you can hit the angular key in order to right indent all these lines yeah so now all the four lines which were selected have a right indent to them so you can change this or if you want one more indent you can do it again so I can left indent this by pressing the shift and lesser than key and an arrow key so let me do it again so I hope this is clear so the usage of the lesser than and the greater than key to left indent and right indent and this can be used in the visual mode as well yeah so let's go back to the vimrc file so this is what we just saw uh, the indenting and set cursor line is uh, this line what do you see you can enable this line by typing this set cursor line uh, I always feel the presence of this line uh, just helps me easily identify where my cursor is especially when I'm working in uh, multiple uh, when I'm when I already have my screen split into three or four uh, it really helps me so let's split our screen again uh, by opening the file okay so here if you're uh, shifting between uh, screens uh, you would take some time to identify where your cursor is so the presence of the line uh, helps you identify the cursor very easily so yeah this is a very useful function so yeah so the four lines which I have on my vimrc file are uh, needed for any programmer so 
let me show you the file sorry the uh, I'll show you where my Vim RC file is so I navigated to my home location and when I hit LS and A I display all the hidden files and here you find my dot vimrc file so this is where you create the vimrc file if you already have the file you just enter the commands which I showed if not you can create the file yeah so you can shift between I mean switch between the tabs by the GT and shift GT you can switch between the split spaces by control W and the arrows I hope this is clear to you I'm just repeating this so yeah I'm pretty much done guys so this is what I wanted to tell you um, yeah uh, some people might find the Vim editor to be very complex but believe me once you start using the Vim editor you would not feel like using any other uh, text editor for your programming needs so it's such a useful function for any uh, programmer uh, in fact even the Eclipse IDE has a plugin called VI so uh, you can edit uh, your code inside the Eclipse workspace by using the uh, a Vim kind of editor using the VI plugin for Eclipse so this shows the popularity of the VI editor among the programmers so yeah it's such a fantastic tool uh, especially if you if you're a hardcore programmer so that's it guys I hope uh, I've covered all the key points necessary for your everyday programming needs uh, if you feel you need some more uh, if you have some doubts uh, leave me a comment in the comment section I'll reply to you or create another video about the your doubts so I hope this video helped you guys uh, if you have any suggestions drop me a comment give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have fun guys take care it's Vignesh signing off